Welcome to our lecture online. Now take a look at this example. We know we're going to have to make a substitution, but do you know how we're going to substitute? It turns out we're going to let u equal what's here. In other words, we're going to let u equals the quantity 5x plus 4 to the one-third power. And then if we square both sides, we get the following. We get u squared is equal to 5x plus 4 to the two-thirds power, which is exactly what we see over here. And now we can make the substitution. Instead of this, we write u squared minus 3 times. Instead of this, we write u minus 4 is equal to 0. And now we solve this simple quadratic equation. Again, we can factor this. We need a u and a u, a positive and a negative. And how about 3 and 1? Nope, 4 and 1. 4 and 1 will work. Negative 4 plus 1, when you multiply, you get negative 4. When you add, you get negative 3. And so that means that u plus 1 equals 0, or u minus 4 equals 0. And here we get, oop, I'm getting away from myself. Here we get u equals negative 1, or u equals 4. So two possible solutions for u. But we're not looking for u, we're looking for x. So we're going to resubstitute what u is equal to. That means that 5x plus 4 to the 1 third power equals negative 1, or 5x plus 4 to the 1 third power is equal to 4. Okay. Over here, that's fairly straightforward. What we're going to do here is we're going to cube both sides, which means that 5x plus 4 is equal to negative 1 cubed. And here on the other side, we're going to say that 5x plus 4 is equal to 4 cubed, because we're cubing both sides. So in this case, we get 5x plus 4 is equal to negative 1 because negative 1 cubed is negative 1. And here we can write that 5x plus 4 is equal to 64. Now, subtract 4, 4 from both sides, so we get 5x is equal to negative 5. And here we get 5x is equal to 60. So here we can then say that x is equal to negative 1 when this divide both sides by 5. And over here we can say that x is equal to 12 when we divide both sides by 5. So again, two solutions, x equals negative 1 and x equals 12, and that is how it's done. Okay. Done for tonight? No, I skipped one. I can look. I can look and see.